Welcome to the wall tutorial. When you design in 2020, you will start by placing walls into your drawing. To do this, we can access the wall drawing commands via the Place and Walls pull down menu. You will note that you get a slide out menu with one sided, two sided, L shaped, U shaped, or closed. These wall drawing tools are also available in our toolbar as illustrated. Note the status bar will change as we highlight each of the shapes. When we draw a wall in 2020, there are, we follow a couple of basic rules. The first rule is that wherever we start in our drawing, in this case the bottom left hand portion of the screen, we draw in a clockwise direction. As you will note, this shape has got many different angles but has been drawn in a clockwise direction. The second rule is the starting point of our wall. If we divide our screen into quadrants and look at the directional arrows, these illustrate the initial direction the wall will be drawn in as we can see from the following demo. So if I choose the wall in the bottom left hand quadrant, it goes in a vertical direction. Choose the wall in the top left hand quadrant, it will go in a horizontal direction to the right. When we start creating a wall and select the bottom left hand quadrant of the screen as before, you will note that the edit box becomes active with information. This is displaying the length of the wall which, can we, which we can enter via the keyboard or by left mouse button clicking on the screen when we are happy with the value. As you can see, it is a little bit more time consuming. When you have it, simply left mouse button click and you have placed the initial wall. You will note that the next wall defaults to a 90 degree angle off the first wall. Again, left mouse button clicking the length will place the wall. If we wish to draw a wall at an angle other than 90 degrees, right mouse button select the screen and you will note that we have a freedom to select the wall in any angle. The further away we are from our starting point, the more options we have to choose our angle. The closer we get, you will note that the increment angle will snap in 15 degree increments. Again, once we are happy with that angle, we can simply right mouse button click to lock it in place and now we can adjust the length. Once we have the length sorted, we again left mouse button click. To finish this design, or left mouse button click behind the wall, or press enter with a zero value in the length, or press escape. As you can see, the wall has now been drawn. You will note that it will illustrate dotted lines that show the placement zones of where 2020 expects the cabinet to be placed. We can zoom in and zoom out of our wall or design by using the scroll button. We also have other zoom tools available to us. The first one is zoom in, zoom out, where we click the left mouse button as the target and it will zoom in to that area. If we right mouse button click, it will zoom out. We have zoom to fit, which will fit the design on the screen. And we also have zoom region, in this case, we draw a box around by left mouse button clicking and holding, and it will zoom in to that region. Once we are satisfied with that, we can simply zoom to fit, left click, and we can now see the whole design. What we have just shown you is how you would draw a wall by using the mouse to input the values. This is possibly not the most productive way of entering a wall into 2020. If we start this design again, we will use the keyboard entry as a method of designing our wall. To delete our wall, we simply highlight it as shown and press the delete key. To start again, again we select the continuous wall tool, start in the bottom left hand corner, and instead of dragging out with the mouse, we leave our mouse alone and enter the value. In this case, 2500, which is in millimeters, which will give us a 2.5 meter wall. You will note that you draw walls in 1 millimeter increments, not 0.1. Press enter, we'll draw our wall. Our next wall will want us to go at an angle of 
90 degrees as illustrated. Again, we will type in a value, in this case 3000 for 3 meters, and press enter. Again, you will note that that wall has been drawn. If our next wall, which is at 1500 millimeters long, wants to be at an angle other than 90 degrees, we simply press the tab key and that will ang highlight the angle field. Once highlighted, we can then enter the angle that we wish. Please note that all angles are referenced to the inside section of the wall, so we need to input 135 degrees if we want effectively a 45 degree wall, and press enter. To finish, we again either press enter or press escape. As you can see, we have now completed our wall with accurate dimensions. This is the fastest way to create a wall in 2020. You will also note that the dimensions entered are always to the inside of the wall, regardless of the thickness, as you can see. To adjust any of the wall properties, we simply select the wall, right mouse button click over it, and choose Properties. This will present us with a dialog box. When we select each individual wall, you will note that it will be highlighted on the screen behind the dialog box. But there are also tabs for dimensions, type and material which we will cover in more depth shortly. Choosing OK will close the dialog box. We have just seen how we create multiple walls in a continuous fashion. We are now going to look at the other predefined wall shapes available to us. The first of these is an L-shaped wall, where we simply select the top left hand corner of the screen, we place the wall wherever we would like, and now we can adjust individually the two wall lengths. We can do this using the mouse, or more accurately using the direct keyboard entry, where we would type the wall length. For instance, the first wall might be 3 meters, so we type 3000, and the second length might be 4000. This is a fast way of getting your basic L-shaped wall on.